All right, on page nine of the notes, it tells you a little bit about the cathode and the anode. Just some things that you want to make sure that you know. All right, when they make the x-ray, when they actually produce an x-ray tube, they take the anode and cathode and they put them inside a glass container. It's called a glass envelope, okay? And they basically suck all the air out of the glass envelope. So what you have is a, um, it's an environment called a vacuum. It's just like an outer space. There's no resistance to air because all the air has been taken out. And then that glass tube is dipped into an oil that seals it up. And then they put a lead shield around that. So that lead shield, that's what you see whenever you're moving the x-ray tube. Okay. Now remember the cathode has a negative charge on it. Okay. The cathode is the part of the x-ray tube that contains the filament. And that's what you're heating up. Okay. The anode has what type of charge? Positive. Positive charge. Okay. So cathode is negative. The anode is positive. Okay. All the metal inside there is made out of tungsten. Tungsten is a metal that has a very high melting point. It tells you it's about 3,370 <coughs> 3, degrees. Okay. So it's going to be very hard to, to melt that. You know, it's going to be difficult to get it that hot that it's going to melt. <clears throat> now, you have two pictures at the bottom of the notes. So far, we've only seen one type of anode. Okay, it's just, it's called a stationary anode. But that's really an old version of what x-ray machines look like. You now have a more modern anode, and you'll see it on page 77 in the book, at the bottom of page 77. This is really what the more modern uh, x-ray tubes look like on the inside. Instead of having a stationary anode, you have what's called a rotating anode. Okay? It's sort of like a, like the, the tires on a car. Okay, when you turn the x-ray machine on, the anode is constantly spinning. Or it's rotating. Okay? And what that does is when the x-ray beam hits it, or the electrons hit it, it spreads the heat out over the whole x-ray tube. And that prevents it from overheating. Okay? So when you're actually working on a real x-ray machine, and you go and you hit the button to take the x-ray, you're going to hear it spinning inside there. It'll spin for about 10 seconds. So you hear it start up, it spins, and then it'll eventually slow down. So every time you hit the button, you're going to hear it spinning in there. That's to prevent the x-ray machine from getting too hot. Also, on the cathode side, you'll see a picture there, and it's labeled focusing cup. Okay, this is a, this is a little cup that looks like a funnel, and that, that wire, that filament, is inside the focusing cup and there's two of them in there okay, so you've got two filaments inside the focusing cup so the electrons come out of the focusing cup they go hit the rotating anode on the other side and as they hit remember it's just like throwing the tomato at the wall they explode and the radiation comes down now something another number to remember in the notes, it tells you how fast the rotating anode spins. How fast does it spin? 10,000 RPMs. 10, so revolutions per minute. In one minute, it would spin 10,000 times. That's a rotating anode. Also remember the temperature for tungsten, 3,370 degrees. All right, on page 80 of the book, there's some charts. They're called tube rating charts. And these are just basically uh, charts that you use to see how the three different numbers that you put into the x-ray machine all correlate to each other. Okay, you have, for example, the MA, the KVP, and the time for different types of x-ray machines uh, on those charts. Now there is one more type of math that we're going to do in a minute, which you're going to use the chart on page 81. It's called calculating the cooling time. In other words, if you're going to take two or three x-rays of a patient, you may not be able to take them all one right after the other. You may have to wait in between to let the x-ray machine cool down. 